higher. See this, in this problem we are going to find out the orthocenter uh, of the triangle with some given vertices. So what is the orthocenter? Orthocenter means to find the orthocenter we have to drop the perpendicular from one vertex to its opposite sides and wherever all those perpendiculars are intersected that will be the orthocenter for us. So let's go ahead. See that it's a spatial triangle. Why I call it a spatial triangle? You see that two vertices are lies on x-axis. Why? One is 0, 0, obviously the origin and next quadrant, third quadrant is 4, 0. Again, it lies on x-axis. So therefore, let us draw the figure. So you can see that if we take draw the x-axis and y-axis and put appropriate points. Now, to find out the orthocenter, we need to drop us the perpendicular. So here we drop the perpendicular and obviously they intersect at some point. Let mark that point name as obviously R and we have to find out the coordinate of R. And R is the orthocenter here. Now see that by the construction as you've seen in the animated thing, you can easily understand AP and OQ are perpendicular to obviously OV and all that. So that's you write that. So here we'll say that in this particular problem, R be the orthocenter. So R be orthocenter. So therefore, by definition of orthocenter, AP is definitely perpendicular to OB and OQ is definitely perpendicular to the line side AB. So that's the given condition. Now see that as A coordinate is 3, 3, 4, X coordinate and R lies on the same line AP. So therefore the X coordinate for R is definitely B3, right? That's the definition of that. If I drop a perpendicular to the X axis, we'll get the X coordinate. So therefore we consider the coordinate of R is actually 3 comma Y, okay? That's fine. So that we assume that coordinate of R. So that's it, that's fine. Now see that what the condition and how we apply so that we can able to find out the coordinate of y. See, ASB and OC are perpendicular. So obviously, slope are minus 1, right? The product of the slopes are minus 1. So let us calculate the slope of AB. So slope of AB, if I consider it as M1, so therefore, M1 is definitely equal to 4 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 4 that gives you minus 4. That's the slope of AB. Now let us calculate the slope of OC, OQ, sorry. OQ. So let us consider it's M2. So what is the slope? It's a slope passing through the origin and the point 3 and Y. So what's that? Y by 3. So it's y minus 0 divided by 3 minus 0. So in other form, it is y by 3. That's it. Now, given that OQ is perpendicular to AB. Now, as they are perpendicular, that imply that the product of the slopes M1, M2 is equal to minus 1. That imply that y divided by 3 is equal to obviously minus 4 need to be multiplied okay so m1 into m2 that's equal to minus 1 that imply that y is equal to 3 divided by 4 so that's the value of y and hence the orthocenter for this triangle r will be definitely 3 comma 3 by 4 and hence you'll see that option c is the correct answer so that's it so that's the way we need to calculate obviously the orthocenter in center for other way we'll see that but, but orthocenter for this case. So whatever we remember orthocenter means it's an intersection point. If I drop need to drop a perpendicular from one vertex to the opposite base and always remember that if I drop a perpendicular to B2 AO it's actually pass through the same point. So all the perpendicular are coincide or pass through the same point okay so that's it so that's it for this problem hope you understood it thank you